boys and girls. This is Miss Dupree in her very messy art studio. This week, I wanted to show you my art studio and all of my supplies. Miss Dupree buys things from Hobby Lobby and Michaels and online that are traditional art supplies like canvases and lots of different paints and all different kinds of tools. But you really don't need a studio and you certainly don't need a lot of art supplies in order to be an artist. So today, we're gonna get out of the studio, out of the house and do some earth art. So step one is very simple. Just go outside and enjoy the beautiful day and collect some things that catch your eye. Here's some things that caught my eye on my walk. All you need to do is find a flat surface and bring all the items that you collected on your walk. So my daughter and I, when we did ours, we just used a crawfish tray. But you can use a plate or you can just do it on a countertop or on your front porch, anywhere that you can find that gives you enough space to make your creation. Now for the fun part, step three. Take all your items and spread them out. And what you're going to do is you're going to use those items and your amazing creativity to actually make a self-portrait. So look at your collection and see if you can think of the main parts of your self-portrait first. So you remember a self-portrait is basically from your chest up focusing on the facial features. So see if you can find something to represent your eyes and your nose and your mouth first, and then go in with the details. After that, you can really be creative and add your personality. So those are some examples of mandala art and also some examples of radial symmetry that you could find in nature. I wonder if you could find some more. Now here's some examples that my daughter and I did with our materials that we collected on our walk.
Did anybody notice in the first one, my daughter changed her mind for the center of her mandala. Hmm, is that okay to change your mind? Is it okay to make changes as you go? Of course it is, you knew the answer to that. You can change things up as you go, try things out, see if you like it. Or maybe something else in your yard will catch your eye that you want to change it out for. So boys and girls, now that you've created these two fabulous pieces of artwork, there are a couple things that you can do. First, you can document your artwork and keep it with a photo. Get your parents' phone or ask them to take some pictures of it for you. The other thing you can do is, especially if you live in a neighborhood, unlike me, I live out in the country, but if you live in a neighborhood, you could always leave your art out on display for people that walk by to see it. So be sure to share your artwork in some way. I would love to see your artwork. I miss your artwork so much, boys and girls. I can't even tell you. 